doesn't like pom-poms, right? They look great on hats and scarves and bags, even on blankets and ponchos. And there is a simple way to make a pom-pom of almost any size with any yarn using no special tools. Just your hands, yarn and scissors. And that's all we're gonna need for this tutorial. The pom-pom I'll be making in this tutorial will finish off the top-down hat that we knit a few weeks ago. Uh, this hat is explained in two videos that show the recipe for the top-down hat. So I will use the same chunky wool in a golden color. Uh, to make the pom-pom, wrap the tail around your thumb so that the tail is about 10 centimeters, 4 inches long, about this much. And it looks like that. You can use any hand. I'll be showing with my uh, left hand as a holding hand, so to say, but you can use your right hand. It's, it's okay too. And now uh, keep your thumb closer to the uh, bottom of your index finger to uh, keep the wrap there so it doesn't really slip off the, the thumb. Okay? Now take the working yarn and uh, wrap it around the fingers of your holding hand. And there are a few variables here. The size of the pom-pom is determined by the fingers of your holding hand, so to say. For a tiny pom-pom, you can wrap the yarn around just index and middle finger held together, just like this. If you want to make a medium-sized pom-pom, uh, wrap the yarn around four fingers held together, like this. If you want a bigger pom-pom, then spread your fingers and then wrap the yarn around the wider part like this. So that's how you decide how big your pom-pom will be. Another thing is that um, the fullness of the pom-pom is determined by the number of wraps you make. So I will be making my pom-pom a really big one. So I will spread my fingers like this and then start wrapping the wider part. And to make it full with the chunky yarn like the one I use here, I would need about, uh, about 40 to 50 wraps. So I will keep wrapping. I have a whole bunch of yarn over here. I will keep wrapping until I'm happy with how full the pom-pom is. And how do you check the fullness? You simply, well, in my case, I will just spread my fingers and just, you know, feel it over here, whether it's skinny or whether it's full enough. If you are making a smaller pom-pom, you can carefully ease your fingers like this and then see how, the, how full the pom-pom is. But make sure that you keep your fingers inside this loop so that your wraps are not turned into a tangled mess, okay? So I'll put my fingers back into the uh, the loop and uh, keep wrapping until I'm happy with the fullness of the pom-pom. And here we go. I have 50 wraps here. It's quite messy. And see some of the wraps, they slide, uh, slide closer to the palm. And that's okay. They're still loose because they've been wrapped in this part of the hand. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty fine with that. Now I feel that the pom-pom is, is big enough, so it's quite full and um, I like it that way. So uh, when you're happy with the fullness of your pom-pom, cut the yarn leaving a tail about 15 centimeters, 6 inches, about this much. And then carefully ease your, hand, your fingers from the pom-pom, but make sure the wraps are not tangled still. So keep it like that. Now tie the yarn tails with a simple knot. It's not easy to do with just one hand, but it's possible. So tie your uh, yarn tails like this. And now wrap the yarn tails around one side of the, of the wraps. So I'm going to insert the tail inside that loop. See, I'm going inside that loop and out and now I'm going to insert the other tail from that side inside the loop and out like this. See now I'm happy I know that my 
uh, wraps won't tangle so that's good enough for me then twist the tails and fold the wraps like this so that the the wrapping part is about at the center of the fold and then wrap your tails around both sides so now i'm flipping it over and wrapping the tails around the whole thing pull the wraps really tight but yeah of course make sure you don't break the yarn right <laughs> but pull it as tight as you can safely without breaking the yarn like this because the tighter you pull the better the pom-pom will hold its shape will hold together otherwise it will be falling apart and then uh, tie the um, yarn tails uh, into a square knot so tie them twice like this so as a result you have a kind of a yarn flower here which is nice by itself but we're gonna turn it into a pom-pom by cutting the uh, folds so we're gonna cut the wraps on the folded uh, part on both sides of the yarn flower but if you want if you plan to attach the pom-pom to a hat or a scarf or something else uh, like I do uh, then hold those yarn tails to keep them safe because you might accidentally cut them and we don't want that so I take my scissors and cut all the wraps over here on the fold on one side and on the other side as well okay now spread the spread the yarn and find the folds that you haven't cut yet because some of them might be hidden so it looks like I'm okay okay here's one more so I'm gonna cut it and that's the pom-pom basically it is messy it's it's pretty ugly i would say but we're gonna give it a haircut and we're gonna make it really nice and actually the best thing about this pom-pom is that it is a one-of-a-kind thing so if you're happy with the size oh i found another wrap another fold here if you're happy with the size then just trim the longer uh, the longer strands here because see they're all uneven and we want to make them more or less even so I'm gonna trim the longer strands like this if you feel that the pom-pom turned out to be bigger than you expected then you can trim everything to give it the size that you like and the look that you like it won't be perfect but that's great because you're gonna use it like as a handmade thing and um, you know who needs perfect right so this pom-pom I, I really I love it and I I, I use the, this type of pom-pom on um, all the hats that I make because I like how messy it is it's a bit kind of mischievous I would say and um, that that's how I like it okay so we keep trimming until we are happy with the look of the pom-pom see it's all very creative no rules here just look whatever doesn't look right to you just cut it off and um, but don't go overboard because you still want to have that pom-pom uh, you have you, you want to have something on it right you don't want to have it all trimmed so this one looks much much better than a few moments ago when we just cut the folds and see I still keep my tails because I don't want to to lose them I keep them safe so that I don't cut them accidentally okay so I think this is good enough if I notice something else that needs to be trimmed I can do it anytime anytime even when pom-pom is already attached to the hat you can quickly just you know snip something off it and here it is our beautiful lazy pom-pom and that's how we make a lazy pom-pom 
Click the link in the description to get the written step-by-step -step instructions for the pom-pom itself and for two ways how to attach it to a hat. Thank you for watching this video and have a wonderful week. I'll see you next Thursday.